Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing? How's everyone feeling? I hope you guys are fantastic. You guys, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Listen, you guys. Yes, we are finally in cancer season, you guys. So welcome to July. Also, um, yes, you guys. I just want to go ahead and say I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you for your patience, you guys. Thank you guys for being so sweet, so kind. You guys have been amazing. You guys have been fantastic. So forgive me if I have to drop my headphones for just a bit, if anything starts coming through. Um, any swelling or anything like that. I've had just, I don't know if you guys have experienced a few um, situations with the ears and, and new ear pods, but let me know what your experiences have been. I know some of you have talked about a microphone like um, a freestyle microphone, so I'm more than happy to check that out as well. I'm just happy you guys can hear me. Wow. Listen, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so, so much. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Sam. Thank you, Sam, for your generous donation, you guys. Um, I am so grateful for you. You um, were one of the most generous as I was getting back into the swing of things. Okay. So, um, you know, just kind of getting back to the zodiacs, getting back to the bi-weekly readings, getting back into everything. And I'm so, so grateful for you. So thank you for your generosity, you guys. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards, you guys. I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, you guys, and I am a medium. And I, I believe I have another client who donated to the channel. Um, I did receive your email, and I'm so sorry if there was some kind of mistake. I have no problem um, sending it over, okay? Please don't worry. I will leave your name anonymous, okay? Um, but I know who you are via, via email, okay? Yes, you guys. And also um, for another client of mine who has donated donated to the channel thank you so so much you guys have to go back and take a look and I'm so grateful that you guys have been here and I can't wait to add to our channel again so I was able to um, purchase a rose quartz for us okay listen yes you guys I was able to purchase this beautiful rose quartz for our channel so thank you your donations are in good hands okay so yes you guys I wow grateful so so grateful for you okay and also um i just want to tell you i will be sharing my experiences with you in regards to my awakening what's been happening the last six months you guys i know i've talked about it back and forth back and forth but i'm rebuilding i am um just starting over you guys and i'm really excited to be in this area and i think this is going to be a good place um, I will start over um, in some ways, you guys, and yes, it's going to be a new channel. Well, let me let me rephrase that, you guys. <laughs> Not so much of a, um, a brand new channel, but it's going to feel brand new. I hope so. So we are still going to do Zodiacs. We are going to do Pick of Cards, you guys. We are going to do Week Ahead readings. I will see what else I can ha add to our channel. I, I still want to do um, paintings, you guys, and also FYI, I want to get going on my um, my personal deck. I, I do want to create a um, an oracle deck or a tarot deck. Like that that's my dream. That's my dream project next, you guys. Something very humble. Okay, I, I don't really think I'm gonna go too um, extravagant or glamorous. Okay, very grounded and um, it's gonna be based on our ancestors, you guys. So I'm really looking forward to it. I love you, okay? So yes, I am a psychic medium for those of you who are new to the channel. Thank you so much for being here again. And also I have all my links below if you guys would like to take a look at my information. I have all my links, you guys. And also I do have my certifications below. Some I need to renew and others are very much active. I do have my... Um, I do have my Violet Flame, you guys, certification, so yes, I have that. I've been really healing with this as of late, and I love it. Personal healing, it can really get rid of illnesses right away. So I'm, that is what I'm so excited about, you guys. So yes, let's, let's jump right in. Yes, shall we? Okay, you guys, let's look at the week ahead. Okay, I will have Zodiacs. I'm uploading Aries for those who are wondering what happened to Aries. 
Okay, and I also um, will have Cancer or Scorpio coming up next. Let me know who who's interested. Okay, what zodiac wants their video up next, you guys? Let's see. Okay, are you ready? Okay, what changes are ahead, you guys? Messages from the angels. I really wanted to do something very galactic, or I wanted to do something a little bit different this evening. So what messages here from the angels? I did feel a major shift collectively with the earth, a warning, a major warning, okay, or just a, um, a caution, you guys. For some of us collectively, there are, um, there are themes of saving, okay, finances, investments, really saving financial agreements or really um, taking care of your words you guys please make sure that this week you guys are not agreeing to things that you don't really um, personally feel aligned with you okay there's something really beautiful about cancer season you guys okay there's something so reflective about this season you guys there's something so wonderful about um, this season and it really comes back to the archetype of mother we have ishtar we do have inanna okay um i also feel a lot of you guys they're collectively right now the messages from the angels we are dealing with deception the deception of our journey the deception of our direction and also the deception of our maybe even our, our agreements you guys i kept feeling like something felt violated our boundaries felt violated, okay? But let's take a look. And we're learning how to say, you know, I'm not okay with this, okay? Let's take a look, you guys. Let's get into this and see. A lot of this has to do with our seventh house agreements, okay? Karmic, karmic cycles, you guys. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, okay, we have the Eight of Wands, okay. Someone around you, you guys, there may be um, maybe a decision to not speak to you, or someone here, a collective energy, communication may be off, but there's someone in general that you may have a very strong bond to, okay? Excuse me, you guys. This person, or the collective, some of you guys are connecting with this person, and I do see a lot of creative energy moving back and forth this week. The angels, you guys, we are starting off with Archangel Raphael, a lot of heart chakra energy, okay? And also, I do see these are, excuse me, symbolic of your upper chakras, you guys, okay? The heart of your wisdom, Aries, Leo, Sag, for a lot of you. Listen, you guys. Right now, the angels are very worried about the communication style. Okay? Perhaps there's been some kind of collective, yes, you guys, listen, right now people are misunderstanding each other, almost feels as if it's a retrograde. You guys are walking into a new environment. You're traveling right now this week. Okay? Archangel Raphael is encouraging the heart especially for my fire signs, you guys. Some of you guys, where is your heart, my loves? Okay? Really raising our vibration. Having to lift our words. Okay? Let's take a look here and see, you guys. I also feel a big part of this has to do with traveling. Your spiritual awakening. Okay? Your words can activate your ability to travel, you guys. So please make sure you are speaking with intention. Or please make sure that you guys are speaking with love, you guys. Okay? So let's take a look here and see. Okay, angels, let's see what is happening with the angels and the collective. Let's see, you guys. Okay. Give me a second, my loves. Some of you may be, um, my spirit guides are saying deceived or deceiving, okay? There's something about deceiving or being deceived, okay? 
Cancer season, you guys. This is a very karmic month for us collectively, you guys. It's very karmic, okay? And I do see a lot of learning, learning experiences around our divine counterpart, around our divine union, you guys. Okay, in a second, you guys. Our divine union and our divine counterpart, you guys. This is about our twin flame collective. Rise. Wow, you guys. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, listen. Right now, collective angels. Okay, the collective angels. Some of you may be at war right now with your words. Or you may not be able to speak to someone. You're having dreams. Or you are battling with your your heart, you guys. Some of you, this is really intense. Words must be expressed this week in order to set yourself free. People have no idea how important it is to really allow yourself to connect with this part of you. Okay. Okay, you guys, we have the, um, yes, you guys, we have the Five of Pentacles, okay. So, when I first started channeling the energy for a lot of you, okay, I have to be very honest, right now, there's almost this fear, some of you guys may be fearing, um, you may be fearing some kind of communication around being casted out. Someone here may be taking advantage or some kind of feeling of words being taken for granted or something kind of overpowering here, okay? A lot of this has to do with the full moon as well, you guys. Something changed for you for Capricorn season, okay? And the angels are asking you to really raise your vibration. Please don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid to think highly of yourself this week. Because of the lunar aspects of cancer, what it does, it really allows a space of recreating yourself with trust. But we must be okay with mother. Okay? We have to be okay with mother, you guys. This is the one um, season, the one sign. I really highly recommend. Very gentle. Very gentle, you guys. Making peace with the mother archetype and the father archetype. This is where we release a lot of our karma or our egos, okay? There's something about this that can save us this week, you guys. So if something isn't right with our parents, our childhood, a little bit goes a long way, okay? Inner child work this week will really help you guys, okay? Otherwise, there's some kind of deception here. Someone is trying to cast fear over you, this landed almost in the reverse, you guys. So someone is trying to keep you away, or they're trying to maybe to protect you. For some of you, I see this is about um, protecting you. For others, it's like a rhythm, you guys. Okay? It's like a song. It almost feels like, it almost feels like something has been moving. Okay? Like there's rhythm to this change, and it's very quick. So, or very fast, I should say. And whenever I feel this way, Okay, I always come back to the angels that are guiding me in terms of risk or danger. So there's some kind of risk some of you guys may be under or around, okay? And I do see a lot of the angels are encouraging your confidence, you guys. This is a time to talk about what's happening in your life. Some of you may be traveling or you are in between homes. You're fine, you're safe, you're protected. Please trust that there is nothing, nothing that the angels won't do to get you to a safe space, you guys. You do have someone with the letter C. This person is going to protect you fiercely. This person is going to protect you so fiercely that you are going to believe in miracles. Letter, the letter C, first name, middle name, last name, okay? And for others, I do see um, someone with the name of 
um, L, okay. So L, O for some of you, for others, this person I do see collectively N, okay. Um, and I also see someone collectively here with M. So these are the letters that are coming through you guys. These are people in your life who will not allow some kind of information or slandering or gossip. I have to be very honest. This is a tough combination, okay? Number one, there's some kind of communication style that's coming your way that may be a little bit harsh. It may be harsh when you're already feeling down. This is a time where you're already kind of um, maybe feeling shaken up if you guys just moved, if you guys have a new home, or you are in between homes, okay? So a lot of you, your heart, your heart is really restoring balance. You are healing, you guys. So I want you to know, please don't take it personal, especially if it's coming from an Aquarius. This isn't really uh, meant to be personal. This person, Aquarius, Gemini, I feel Gemini more so. Um, more so Gemini. It, it might feel a little bit okay, like they're casting you out, but this isn't really what it is, you guys. I have to be honest. Really, really call upon um, the strength of cancer because right now, the more we understand, the more we let go, the more we release, the more we let go of fear, the more we are able to come back to ourselves, okay? the more we are actually in our power or compassion, really understanding our heart chakra, you guys. So a lot of us may need to come back to trust and faith. This is my card of trust and faith, okay? Finances may be a little bit shaky, you guys, but there's something about the light. It doesn't leave you. It will not leave you, you guys. So if you guys are preparing for a major financial um you know, you're spending, okay? This is a good time to save. This is a good time to have a little bit extra, a little, you know, nest for yourself or a little bit of a coin purse, okay? Um, just in case, you guys, okay? But this is also about people protecting you. People are protecting you and they will make sure to protect some kind of transition here. This is karmic for you, my, my loves. This is very karmic okay? You will not be left out in the cold. So please don't worry, but this has to do with foundation. Some of you, a gentle reminder this week, you guys, the more you work on your confidence of your career, the more you are going to see the light of the situation. For others, there's some kind of really rushed, rushed change around maybe feeling as if there's something that's pushing you out, Please don't feel this way. It's not like this at all. Okay? For some of you, this is actually um, maybe a feeling of poverty consciousness. You guys are really fighting against a fear of not having. Okay? But to the point of your health, you guys. So, King of Pentacles, remember, you are this continuous um, life force of investments. You have them in front of you especially in a red book for some of you. Some of you may have a red book. You have um, a piece of paper in there somewhere, collective. This is for somebody out there. Um, it's meant to guide you. There's money there. For others, there's something stored in a book, you guys. A piece of paper. There's resources there. So please, check all areas that you're guided this week, okay? The angels are saying trust. Please trust, you guys, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look, you guys. So what's happening with the Five of Pentacles? What's in store for you, you guys? What's happening here? Yeah, okay, I see, I see, I see. Traveling, traveling. Some of you guys may want to travel, okay? Or you're having to make a decision. I honestly, I am feeling for Aries, some of you guys may be taking a major risk this week. You are moving away with maybe the minimum, okay? Or you're